another video already it just doesn't stop back on the old V again and it ties in something else um, we're going to go back to the old Michael Caine um, but we won't go into impressions of him again um, interesting Citizen Kane, Michael Caine Kane a knight <laughs> um, I digress so the film with you only you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off it was of course the Italian job so it's just sort of like occurred to me because the world is a stage you got three minis mini steers because you'd have to steer these minis but look at the paths they take the elaborate path a lot of them are going at a higher level rooftop to rooftop and doing but they're weaving they're doing all sorts of fantastic maneuvers and it's all a grab for the gold but some of this will make a lot more sense if you're in the UK than if you if you're in the United States or if in, in Europe because you use a different word for the same thing. A large passenger carrying vehicle when it is for holidays and tours with a slightly more comfortable seats and probably curtains, possibly even a coffee machine, TV, video and toilet on board. In the UK we call a coach, which you would call a tour bus. But... You're being coached through life. Now, look what happens at the end of the Italian job. The coach, the passenger carrying vehicle, the vessel, that now has a lot of people inside it, is now ends up a very fine balance. The gold is at the one end. All the people are at the other. Now, <laughs> that film leaves you on a cliffhanger there because all those people have either got to get out that vehicle in one <laughs> because if one leaves the gold, the greed will pull the rest down if you try and go for the gold you tip the scales and you all go down <laughs> looks like a bit of a no win situation <laughs> being shown there um, that sort of just came to me another one that just came I've mentioned about Terminator but what about the second Terminator the, I think it's the T-1000 the liquid metal look what happens towards the end of the film I think they're in an industrial plant and it, it's the iron no I tell a lie it's I think it's a bullet um, that explodes. This thing can absorb anything metal and replicate it. This thing explodes and it's cleaved apart. There's another V. But we're dealing with something that doesn't have a soul, something that's artificial, that's a living metal. So the equivalent of its soul is within all its molecular structure. But it's cleaved apart. So we, we flip that. Now, the explosion is not destructive when it is within something that is natural with a soul, with a spirit inside it, as opposed to something that is artificial. Because the cleaving apart, the explosion, is now from the place of the sun and rises up. Although you're still being cleaved apart in one sense, I mean, just look at a body bag. It's always zipped up down the middle. It's another V reference again. Um, this could just keep going on and on and on, really. <laughs> but uh, think magic, real magic. Think magnetism. What you send out comes back just like the magnet. It flows in either way, a red shift or a blue shift, but it always comes back. It's the Taurus field, your aura. This is what all this distancing is about, so... Your magnetic fields are not coming into contact with each other. Can't have that, can we? Because it's all about divide and conquer again. Divide, David, David, we're back to that again. Conquer, conquer. All the 
double meanings in this duality but even if you look at it in the Egyptian terms <laughs> that the ascension in that is to a duat <laughs> but we are in a duel and if you think about it he l it's he as in man and it's the foot and the lower leg so that's why you're in hell you're placed <laughs> at the lowest level so I thought I'd just piece a few more bits and pieces together this gets very involved I know but the overall message with all this no matter which way you look at it the descent of man like I shows with what looks like the V with the line it's something ascending and it's the splitting apart but it forms a downward arrow so just like with the fetus the six you put the head back on the top you flip it over and make it a nine the symbol of completion so the head is at the top the ankh the ankh the ankhor the core of us it's the key or one of the keys being shown then what what else have you got you've got crossed keys as well um to do with cities and we're back into doorways and archways <laughs> so the Yanis in many ways is like uh, free will it's choice of two paths but like I said the K we've been flipped we've been knocked over so the K is still like a fork it's two two ways of going but the right path is neither the left or the right it's the unseen like you cannot see the mind's eye because it's all going on within so what I'm doing or I hope this is what is going to come across with this that the overall message of this you can look at look at uh, an increase your inner standing of everything, everything by looking at the outside as long as you see it in its mirror form and reflect upon it and then reflect back it's just flipping things back over the other way that's what it's always been about and you don't want the seed planted the wrong way so because you don't want it growing down into the darkness it needs to grow towards the light so all we're doing is just flipping the script over that's all we're doing because this is an upside down topsy-turvy crossed world world I mean another saying are we talking at crossed wires for example just listen and observe all those little signs that are giving it to you um, the signs by the day in nature if you see something that catches your eye an insect or a bird or a flower or a particular tree or something there's a reason for it look at the spiritual meaning of it you've got the signs at night but it's the signs by the day because you see in the daylight easier than you do in the night light but in the at night you see the lights in the sky because you need the darkness to see the light it's all contrast it's all duality but if you can see both ways and remain in the middle that's the place to be um, another expression is about if you go crazy you're going bananas well again look at the banana it's peeled so it's opening up again the body bag unzipping taking off the garment letting that spirit that's inside you rise so it's finding the light within side of oneself so just a little bit more on that as and when there be another video maybe another one today this again don't dismiss the electronics you might be watching something on YouTube and then there'll be a list of suggestions on the side panel or when you go to the home page something catches your eye there's going to be something in it even the subtitles to videos it can't always pick up the actual words we're using so it puts what uh, the program thinks it's heard so like Paul Black Sheep Researcher said why is it spelt it W I S E. I've even seen the word white come up as well. So you've got a Y in that. And as I said before, the highest level, 
the T and then the E for energy, there's the what, there's the T, E, and then the Y, which is white. And what do they say about going into the light? White is it associated with that, but also white is the absence of colour. Black is the absorption and the total of all colours, which can be easily demonstrated with paints. If you mix all the colours together, you're going to get black. So there's always two ways of seeing these things. But don't go for one or the other. Stay in the middle. That's the place to be. That's the place you want to be. You want to ascend. Because you don't really want to go into a much more of a solid state than we are now. <laughs> we would be all petrified. <laughs> anyway, that's whew, rather a lot today. Um, still reeling from it all. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <laughs> You've started this off. You planted seeds and ideas from which grows creations on a screen in, in this particular case. So, ta-ta for now. <laughs>